What's up guys, we got Pokeam here, and first off, if you guys missed my previous upload, you can click anyone on the screen, and that will open up in a new tab or window. Secondly, today, I have a battle versus NSP, who I got on the ladder. Um, he's pretty high on the ladder, so uh, stay tuned for a decent match. So he's going to lead off with his Terrakion, I'm leading off with my Scizor. I'm actually predicting him to want to go out into his Deoxys D to take the predicted bullet punch, since uh, some people, they don't mess around with Terrakion, they go right for the BP. But no, I do go for the Bug Bite, do a hell of a lot to that Deoxys defense. Now I'm going to switch on to my Espeon just in case he wants to try and get up his Stealth Rocks, predicting me to want to go for the Sword Dance, but instead he actually ends up going for the Taunt, which I am able to bounce back, and I'm actually going to set up a Reflect as he does switch down to his Scizor, so now I can easily Baton Pass out into my Dragonite, knowing that with the Reflect and the Multi Scale, I can easily take any hit. He ends up going for the Sword Dance. He is going to be able to hit me with the Bullet Punch to do measly damage, and I can easily just knock him out with the Fire Punch. So now he's actually going to go out into his Gengar. I wanted him to uh, go for the sub and try and disable my Fire Punch because I thought maybe if I kept going for Fire Punch, he would assume that it was the Choice Bandit variant. So I'm going to go for Fire Punch right here as he does sub up. I do notice Leftover, so I know he is the Disable variant. And now I'm actually predicting him to want to go for the Disable on my Fire Punch. So I went for the Outrage. Unfortunately for me, though, he was one step ahead, so he did go for the Substitute again. And now he's actually going to fodder off his Deoxy Defense as I am going to be able to uh, knock it out with the Outrage while taking some uh, Rocky Helmet damage. But it doesn't really matter because... Reflect is still up and I'm at over half so I know I can take any hit from this Gengar. He's actually going to make a mistake right here and go for the Disable. I guess he forgot how uh, Disable and Outrage work since I was on my third turn. And regardless, I am going to knock him out with the Outrage. So now he's going to go out to his Kingdra. I'm going to stay in an Outrage just in case he tried to set up a Rain Dance since we have played before. And I know that he is the Rain Dance Life War variant of Kringer, which hits hard as hell. So in any case, I'm going to go down to that Dragon Pulse. Now I'm going to go into my Lucario just to Revenge Kill with the Close Comet. And uh, the teams we are both playing are really hyper offensive so it's pretty much uh you can't really switch too much in when you're playing with these teams and you pretty much just set up and sweep that's exactly what you're supposed to do so, since most teams can't ha ha um, handle multiple setup sweepers so in any case he goes out to Seraki I'm just gonna sack my Agorbis that way I can get the free switch into my Espeon just to set up the reflect since all he has left is this Dragonite and that Seraki which are both physical attackers so I'm gonna be able to set up my reflect now I'm actually gonna baton pass out um, just knowing that it is better than switching since I can easily see what he wants to do before he does it Or like if he wants to stay in I could just know that and time pass into the appropriate check And if he double switch like he did into his uh, Terrakion I can just easily go into my scissor and go for the bullet punch So he doesn't end up doing just that he's gonna go on to Dragonite just to take that BP And now I'm actually gonna switch into my Cloister as he does predict that so he ends up going out into his Terrakion Doesn't matter though because Reflect is up and Cloister has nice natural defense So I can easily just go for the Hydro Pump after taking this close combat Unfortunately though I miss which really sucks so now I'm going to have to go out to my Espeon just to take the predicted close comment as he does do just that. And I really thought that this Terrakion was a uh, choice because he has uh, no Rock Gem since he did go for the Stone Edge and nothing activated. And he, no, he didn't go for the Stone Edge yet, but, or did he? I don't remember. And he has no Life Orb, so I really thought he was choice. So in any case, I do Baton Pass into my Cloister. Once again, going to go for the Hydro Pump, predicting him to want to go out to Terrakion, but it was a wasted prediction because I do miss. And now he's free to go for the Stone Edge on my switch into Espeon. That was a good play on his part, but still, that hacks really uh, sucked. But in any case, I did notice no uh, Rock Gem and no Life Orb, so I thought he was choice. So I went to my um, Lucario, knowing that I do have the BP and the Extreme Speed and Close Combat. So I went for the Sword Dance, just picking him to want to switch out. But then he ends up going for the Close Combat, so I'm like, hello, what type of Terrakian are you? But in any case, now I'm going to go on to my Scizor, just going to go for the Bullet Punch, as he does end up going out into his Dragonite. And now I know he's going to go for the Fire Punch, so I'm going to do is actually switch into my Cloister, knowing I can easily take that. As he does end up doing just that, it does nothing to my Cloister, and now I can easily go for the uh, Icicle Spear just to knock out his Dragonite. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. His Dragonite is going to go down. He's going to be down to his last Pokemon, which is a Terrakion. I know that if he just goes for the close combat on my uh, Cloister, it's pretty much a good game because I can just easily BP with my uh, Scizor and knock him out. So he is going to be able to knock me out with the close combat. Now I'm going to go into my Scizor and win the game because he is choice Terrakion. I mean, he's not choice Terrakion, but... He doesn't have uh, anything stupid like a Focus Sash, wow, really? So if I would've hit my Hydro Pump, I would've won this match. So just showing you some of the hacks of the ladder. Um, it doesn't matter, it's still a fun match. I laughed when I saw that Focus Sash, I was like, wow. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna lose 1-0 because I did miss my Hydro Pump. And I'm actually gonna show you guys something that I saw on uh, Wild Chase's video. Now normally when I get first on a video, I don't say first, I just do the PK face. Um, you guys should probably know that. And I, I got first and second comment, so I put the PK face and they're both... Uh, they're both top comments, so I thought that was funny. So, uh, in any case, uh, comment, like, subscribe, guys. Until next time, later.